This is content pace. And if you are working with content, then this tool can really save you time. Content pace can basically do all the content research for you, but there are some quirks. Let's get into it. To give you a quick idea about content pace, the way it works is that you enter your keyword or your search phrase into content pace and then content pace would scan the first 50 results on that search phrase on Google and then give you the results based on that. And what it will give you is questions, outlines, of course the website's ranking and some more for you to understand what you need to write, how long you need to write, what type of keywords you need to use and you just get so much information so you can write a ranking blog post and basically just sit back and see it rank in some time. Of course, there are many other factors like EAT and much more that plays a role, but this is a great way to get started. Content page is not writing the article for you, it's doing the research, so you still have to write it yourself. And this tool is a lot like Phrase and Market Moves, which I've previously reviewed, and I'll also compare it a little bit later in the video. But the output is different, but the tool is more or less the same, which you will also see. And based on the pricing, then content pace is a mid-tier level. It is on the price level of Phrase, whereas Market Muse is very high priced. Where content pace differs from Phrase and Market Muse is that it's a fully fledged content management system. And not like WordPress, but a system where you can manage all of your content from you have an idea from a search phrase until you have a finished article. You can plan content in there. Soon you will have collaboration features such as commenting, approval flow, and much more. So that's the angle they are taking. They want to be a content research system for teams and not especially individuals. Of course you can use it if you're an individual, but they are really targeting teams and teams working on content. And the way that I tested content pace was I entered the search phrase, how to plan your day. When you get your report back from content pace, then you get from the top 49 results on the search phrase that you have entered. And there will always be some search results to take from. And here you will get questions, average word count, you will get specific keywords you need to use. And of course, all the ones who are ranking on that specific search phrase. And there's nothing unique about this. There's a lot of other tools that can do this as well. And what I did notice as well is that a lot of the questions come from Quora and Reddit. And there were only three questions from people also ask, which is the section you see in Google where people ask similar questions. And of course, it's great to see what people are asking on Reddit and Quora because sometimes people also Google them. But what I'm really interested in is answering Google's questions the stuff that people Google, not necessarily ask on Reddit. So I would like to see more questions from Google and from people also ask, because when I compare the exact same search phrase used in Phrase and Market Muse, then the result was very different. As mentioned, Content Pace could find three questions from Google, Phrase found 28 questions and Market Muse found 69 questions. So there is a huge gap between these three tools whereas phrase in the middle is worth its price and content pace needs to find more questions on Google and maybe cut down a little bit on Reddit and Quora. But based on this entire research, you now are ready to build your outline. And when you scroll down through all the different outlines, you can choose what different type of headings you want to use. Of course, be inspired. Do not copy and paste all of these outlines but it's a great way to get inspired so you can get started on writing your article. While testing this, I did found the UX a little bit messy because it's not intuitive for me how to build my outline and it's especially not intuitive for me how I move on from the outline to build my content. So I think that process or that flow, they could definitely optimize, but maybe that will come in the future. The editor within content pace is very minimal and that can be a good thing, but I'm missing a lot of the research because on the previous page where we were building our outline, we had questions, we had outlines, we had all of the results for that specific search phrase. And now we only have the outline we have chosen, the keywords we need to focus on and some statistics, which are also great, but I really want to see all of the research in the editor 
just like Phrase is doing it, it's such a great way of not having to move back and forth between a report and where you're writing your content. I would like them to update the design so it gets a better feel of using it. Again, Phrase is doing a fantastic job here, as well as Market Muse, so they could get inspired from them. Because when we sit in the editor, we spend quite a lot of time. And when we spend time in a software, the feel of using the software is very important. But it's just a minor thing because the overall design could also use an update from Content Pace. One module I would like to see added to Content Pace is a Keyword Gap module. Market Muse is doing this very well and they have this module which basically tells you what keywords are not covered but should be covered because they're relevant. If Content Pace could add this with all of their team features, then it will be a great content tool for exactly teams. But until then, then it still remains a mid-tier to low-tier level in my opinion because we are also missing integrations. We really need an integration to WordPress, Shopify so we can publish our content without having to copy and paste. And another thing that would be very interesting if we could do two ways. So we could both publish our content, but we could also pull it out, optimize it using content paste, and then push it back into WordPress or Shopify or whatever it is we're using. Alternatively, then you could build a plugin or Chrome extension that we could use everywhere where we're writing our content. So we are not forced to write it in content paste, but we can write it in Google Docs, in WordPress, or wherever we want to. And the funny part here is when I look at their roadmap, then they are working on exactly that, adding integrations to WordPress and to Shopify, so it's easier for us to manage our content, both pushing it to WordPress and hopefully in the future also pulling it out so we can optimize it using content pace. On top of that, then it's very clear to me that they're focused on the team features where they're adding commenting and approval flow and much more. So overall, I want to give Content Pace three and a half stars. Their unique angle is the team functionality, and they do give a great research, but they're still very rough around the edges. If you want to watch my review of phrase.io, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.